Number 12 then from the 2019 Advanced Higher Maths. Number bases. You're getting three marks for changing a number from one base to another. It's only the same time this has appeared. So I was going to remember in the Advanced Higher since it became the Advanced Higher back in 2000. But see this business about number bases. That used to be in the O grade arithmetic back in the 60s and 70s and 80s. And O grade arithmetic was separate from O grade maths. That was the exam that was sat by the ones that couldn't do the maths. And here it is, in the advanced higher. Which reminds me of, before the advanced higher became the advanced higher, it was called the Certificate of Six Year Studies. And the Certificate of Six Year Studies, well, back in the 90s anyway, used to get, or could get, questions on stem and leaf diagrams. But anyway, here you are now with these number bases. So you'll be laughing your heads off. Well, you hopefully will be when you see this. Well, Here's a number in base 11. Now, base 11 means you're counting in 11s. Those are the units. Every 11 gets put into this pile. So those are 11s. And those are 11 squareds. So all that that number means is you've got 2 times 11 squared plus 3 times 11 plus 1. 121. 242 and 33 and 1. So that's 276. I'll just emphasise, back in our currency, that's 276. Now you have to change that into base 7. Base 7 means you count in piles of 7. You take your 276 things and you pile them into piles of 7. If there's anything left over, that's in the unit column. Then you take your piles of 7. That takes me back to the old days, back in front of the wide staring eyes. You take your piles of 7 and... You put them into new piles of 7. The way you would do that is keep dividing by 7. So divide by 7 to see how many piles of 7 you can make. Well that goes in 3 times with 6 over, that's 9 remainder 3. Now the 3 is the important bit. There's 3 that couldn't be put into a pile of 7, so that's the units. Now take your piles of 7, divide by 7, that makes 5. So there's 5 piles with 7 7s in it and four left over, and that's all you need to do. Just read them backwards. So that number then becomes five, four, three, base seven.